when I was editing my last video, I noticed something that really annoyed me. And I only noticed this after I'd exported the file. It annoyed me so much that I thought I'd start this tiny little mini-series on my channel just about little tips and tricks to do with editing and some of the technology I use just to help people not be as annoyed as I was last night after I finished this. The first one is about that problem. Problem with the DJI Mavic. I said it's to do with DJI Mavics, but it could be with all drones. I haven't got that much experience on a wide range of them. I've used a Mavic Mini, which is what I've got, and I've used a Phantom 3 and a Phantom 4. Now, all of them come with a micro SD card. Now, you can't put that in a computer unless you've got some swanky laptop that accepts these micro SD cards. You can't put it in without an adapter. Now, when I was making this video, I did not have my adapter with me. I'd left it somewhere else. But I thought, fine, no problem. When you've got the drone up in the air and it's recording, it's attached to your phone. You can see everything on there. You can see where it's going, so you can direct it so it don't, doesn't crash into things. While the drone's in the air, your micro SD card is inside of it and it is recording what you see. Your phone at the same time is plugged in the controller and you can see what the drone sees there. It just helps you to navigate, helps you to not crash into trees, and you can get a rough idea of what you're doing. You know, know where the camera needs to tilt and if you need to turn, and it gives you an idea of what your shot's going to be. But it's not exactly what's being recorded on the SD card. This is quite evident when your antenna loses signal, or, you know, for a brief moment, you might be gliding through the trees, then suddenly on your phone you'll see it kind of pause as the antenna tries to find signal again, then half a second later, it'll glitch forward to where the camera is actually recording. Once you've landed a drone and stopped recording the video, you'll see in your phone gallery, in your video gallery, you'll have a video of what you've just done. Now, when I was editing my video last night, I didn't have my adapter with me. I thought, no problem. In my phone, in the video gallery, there is a copy of that video. I just uploaded that to the cloud, downloaded it on my computer, and there we go. I had it in the video to edit. Or so I thought. I was in a bit of a rush last night, so when I was putting clips together, I was just finding little bits of the drone footage that I knew I needed. I got the little clips, put them into the video, done. I exported the file. And then when I looked at the video before uploading it, I found that it, the quality was very poor and it was very glitchy, as if I was watching it as it was being recorded on my phone. This is because the video that's saved into your phone video gallery is not the actual recording of the SD card, it's just a carbon copy of what you could physically see on your phone while you were flying, glitches and all. That includes a reduction in quality of the video as well. Today, I've got the adapter, I've got the card out of my drone, I'm gonna put it in the computer, I'm gonna show you the difference now. So here we have the footage that is directly from my phone, the footage that was saved from my phone directly after the drone flight. You can see there's quite a few glitches in it. The quality isn't superb. Now, here's the same clip, but taken directly from the SD card. You'll notice this time there's no glitch in and the quality is improved. It should be the full 2.7K that I was recording in. It's 2.7K because this is the first version of the Mavic Mini. And just to prove it even further, here's them side by side. I know it's only a short video and if you're not into video editing or haven't got a drone then it was absolutely pointless, but if you are making videos or if you've got a drone and you just want to look at the files, hopefully this has helped you not get quite as annoyed as I was last night. Thank you very much.